Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss the system called MKF4. So, in the first session on interprocess communication, I have demonstrated you how we can use MKF4. By using MKF4, we can create named pipe. So, if I want to create a named pipe, I can use MKF4 command, and I can give like my pipe. So this will be the file name possibly and if I create it, if I type ls, my pipe has been created. So this is my pipe. Okay. Now if I want to check the detail of this my pipe, this my pipe actually it is a pipe. So the very first character you can see there is p that is it is a pipe file okay now how we can use it so if you want to use this pipe let's say if i am saying let's say cat and hello world or let's say echo and i'm writing hello world let's say and this thing i want to redirect to my pipe okay now this echo will be converted into a process and this process is opening this my pipe in write mode and it is writing this data if i open another tab and if i want to read out so let's say if i use cat command to use my pipe that hello world i can read out here right so there is a communication established between two processes one process i have created with the help of uh, this echo command and this process is writing hello world onto the my pipe file and in another tab i am reading the my pipe and i got the data hello world. now in your end term exam i may ask or the teachers may ask to simulate this thing this behavior with the help of mkf4 system call so let's check let's say manual of mkf4 mkf4 manual is available in manual section 3 so i'm typing manual space 3 now in order to use this we need to include sys slash type sys slash stat fcntl and f sys stat kind of so these things we can include and because mk54 can create a file we can set some of the permissions so in mk54 here we can set the mode mode means read mode write mode what are the permissions has been given to the user groups and others so that we can set in as a second argument the very first argument we can set as a name of the fifo which we want to create okay so let's open a file i have written this and in this let's say i'm trying to do uh, i'm trying to write a c program that creates a named pipe fifo so it is a sample problem which we are going to solve in this using the mk fifo system call then fork a child process so first we create the mk fifo then we fork and create a child process in the parent process write some data to the pipe as we have done in the previous example with the help of echo command we write something and then the inside the child process we read the same data okay so let's do the same thing some of the header file i have already included now let's start so if we want to create like mk54 we can use mk54 and in mk54 we need to pass the name of the pipe file which we want to create so let's say named pipe if the name if i am giving here named pipe and the mode i want to give let's say um, a read write read write so i am giving 666 6 means uh, we are setting read and write permissions for users groups and others so there are three six i am making it 
the return value we can check mk fifo so in ideal condition i am assuming that there is no error otherwise you have to check the return value of mk fifo for the error so after this line if we want to check whether named pipe has been created or not we can use one system call that system is one of the function which we can use and let's say if i type ls hyphen l and let's say i'm using on named pipe so this will display me whether the named pipe has been created or not okay so only this thing i have written just two lines and later on we improve the code so i'm just saving it and let's compile the code and execute it so using gcc we can compile it now it is giving me this m my uh, named pipe has been created and this is displaying the very first alphabet is p so that means it is a pipe file now open the code again this output we are getting based on this system library function which is defined in stdlib.h so that header file i have already included now i am making this thing as comment so it was just to demonstrate whether the pi file has been created or not now if the pi file has been already created then i want to open the file okay so this file we are opening the parent is writing so parent will open in write mode and child will open in read mode so let's say i am forking it and i am taking one integer as pid and in pid let's say i am storing the value of fork system call now we can apply the error check on that so in ideal situation i consider that there is no error i am not applying the error check for making this code compact and simple so now if we check if this pid is greater than let's say 0 so if this pid is greater than 0 then this is the you can say this is the portion which will be executed by parent so i can comment here is parent section okay and if we write if pid is equal to zero then whatever we write here that will be considered inside the child so i am writing here child section okay all these things we are already aware about right so the question is saying that parent will open that named by file which we have created in write mode so for opening we can open with the help of open system call so you can take that open system call and here i'm giving let's say named pipe okay the file name is and here i'm opening o underscore because the parent is going to write so wr only okay so it is opening in write mode and in child section i'm opening the same file with the help of open and the file name is named pipe in read mode o underscore rd only okay now once we have opened this file into write mode we can use write system call but this open return value i need to store in some so let's say i am taking file descriptor one and here when we are again opening this i am taking file descriptor let's say two and these are two integers so let me declare these two integers here so i am giving like ft1 and let's say ft2 okay so these two file descriptors 
Now, if we want to write something, we can use the write system call on FD1. And let's say we are writing here, hello world. So, because parent is saying hello to child, so I am writing here, hello child process. Okay. We can give like new line also if we want to. Then whatever the length we are applying here, twenty characters. So you can fix that. You can apply str string length function also. So that's I'm not going to make the code complex. So I'm just counting and filling it. Now what will happen on FD1, which is associated to the named pipe, this parent process is going to write hello child process and new line, right? Now after it finished the writing, it can close that file descriptor FD1. So that is not the concern here. Now what happens in the child, the child is going to read. So for reading child requires some buffer. It may start reading character wise. Okay. Or we can give some buffer. So if we are going to read, let's say buffer wise. Uh, so we can take a character buffer here. And that buffer is having, let's say, you can declare if you are writing here 20 characters, I am taking okay so when we are going to read here then we can apply we are reading from fd2 right because we have opened or this child has opened this file named pipe and the descriptor has been returned fd2 now we are reading from this file descriptor and when we are reading it we are storing in buffer right and we are reading let's say 20 characters okay now let's execute it and let's see what happens if we need to read it multiple times then we can apply a loop okay. so this is a very simple code solve the problem and I expect that you can solve such kind of questions in your end term exam. So it is working fine till now. There is not an issue. Okay. Now the problem here is actually we are not displaying anything. So it is not uh, making anything visible on the screen. So after we are reading uh, in the buffer after that let us say if we start printing the buffer so if we write printf and let's say and a string and this is buffer let's say right so let's see what is happening whatever the buffer is reading it will start writing on the screen so let's compile it again now it is displaying hello child process so i hope you are getting the idea what is happening there what is happening there now look at the code it is an easy code so the problem was let me show you the problem we are supposed to write a c program that creates a named pipe using mk54 system call and then we fork generate two processes so already the parent was executing now the child has been start executing parent is writing something a hello message to the child and child is able to read from the another so i hope this code is easy to understand and you can use mk54 so I am just closing this session.
see you in the next class